Hey, hey developers, today we're looking at Vuex. We're gonna learn how it works and we're gonna create this cool dad jokes generator. Two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. <laughs> And it also has this all joke so we can see every joke that we got from our endpoint. And we're gonna do this all with Vuex. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. But first let's have a quick word from our sponsor. I'm really excited today to talk about our sponsor, Linode. And actually make sure you listen all the way to the end. They have a really cool deal for Program with Eric subscribers. Basically Linode allows you to host your own app, site, or project in the cloud. They provide virtual servers that make it super easy and affordable to get your projects online and shareable with the world. They have hosting starting at $5. It's really, really cheap. So whether you're an experienced developer or just starting out to tinker with code, you can use Linode. So if you're a viewer of Program with Eric, you can get $20 in free credit on new Linode accounts by signing up at linode.com slash program with Eric. That's up to four months free on the smaller plan. So get started by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks again. So let's go ahead and begin. But first, let's define what Vuex is. So if you're brand new, Vuex is a state management library system for Vue.js. It's based loosely on the flux patterns that you see in other libraries and frameworks. So in React, they have something called Redux. In Angular, they have something called NGRX. So basically it's a way to manage data and share it throughout your app. So let's take a look. So I went ahead and created a kind of an empty app for us to start so we can create our jokes app for us. It's using Tailwind CSS. It's also using just a, a vanilla Vue CLI app out of the box with a couple of changes. I have a home route, I have a jokes route, and then I also have an empty store. So I chose the option when I used Vue CLI to create it to create this store. So let's see if we can go ahead and set up our store first. So right now our app looks like this. We have nothing in it. This is just hard coded in. And I just have some, um, just two routes right here, like I was saying. So what we want in our state, and now state is the information that we're sharing throughout the app. So we're gonna create a couple of pieces of state. First, we're gonna create joke. Uh, current joke, and this is just going to be an empty string, and then we're going to do all jokes, and this is going to be an array. So we want to have every current joke displayed on our home route, and then all, all our jokes displayed on our jokes route. And then for mutations, we want to actually set and change it. So a mutation is a synchronous, so I'll just make sure I put this here, synchronous way to update the state in our Vuex store. So we can have set current joke, and that has a state and payload that comes with it. And then inside the state and payload, we can just set whatever we want. So I'm gonna do state dot current joke equals payload. So that way the payload that we receive gets set into the state uh, for, for the Vuex store. And then we also want to add to the all jokes. So I'm gonna do state dot all jokes dot push because we know it's an array of the payload. Cool. And now we want to look at one more that doesn't normally come in here is called uh, getters. And getters are a way that we can grab information and display it anywhere in our app. And there's kind of nice things because we can kind of change things as we retrieve it. So let's do git joke. Let's do git current joke. And this has one option that comes with it. It's called state. And just we'll return state.current joke. Cool. And also if we wanna be fancy here, we can actually do this kind of a arrow function here. And then I can delete the return. And then it's just a little bit more cleaner there. So get current joke, and that's just gonna get the current joke out of the state. Now, right now, all we're doing is we're setting this, this up. So let's say, let's add a current joke in here. This is a joke. And let's see if we can retrieve this inside our app. So we have, this is a joke. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just hide the sidebar. And now inside our home view, we wanna actually see this joke text. We wanna grab it. Instead of using this joke text here, we wanna grab it from the store. So we can do that. Uh, we can use something like a mounted hook and we're gonna have a data object first. And this data object is going to have a joke, which is gonna be an empty string, but we're gonna set this dot joke to the store. Now, one thing that's nice since we're using uh, Vue CLI and, and Vuex is installed. Now we have an option to this.store, which has our access to the whole store at this point. So we can do this.store and then we can do getters.getCurrentJoke. 
And that should update this dot joke. So let's see if that worked. So we see here because can I has dad jokes. Let's make sure we don't have any errors. We can look at our console here. Cool. So we have joke text in there. Uh, let's make sure we update it. So we're gonna put this to joke. Oh, so one thing we mistake here. We need to add in capital C current joke. Okay. So it looks like it's retrieving it out of the store as we expected. Cool. So if we go back to our home view, now we have this as a joke. So it's definitely grabbing the information out of the store. But obviously we wanna grab it from uh, the actual uh, API. So I have an API in place. So if you look at our index, I already created this URL and headers. So there is a website called I Can Has Jokes that I can grab information out of. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so maybe I can just add a mutation right here. But since we're using asynchronous, information asynchronous information always goes into the actions so this is always uh we can just put in here asynchronous so that's that's common confusion so people don't know the difference so let's do something called uh set current joke and we can name it the same that's fine and then with set current joke we want to actually use fetch and grab the information so i'm going to call this const J uh, joke, we'll call it joke, and then we'll do fetch. And since I already added in this URL up here, I can do URL and I have to do this headers here. And just to make sure this works right, I'm gonna make this asynchronous. So I'm gonna do async here, and then I'm gonna wait the fetch. And then I'm gonna const, and then I'm going to wait joke.json. That should give me the JSON. And now I can do something with this J, I can do state dot commit and so the reason I use commit is every time you want to change something in mutation you do dot commit if you're trying to change an action you do dot dispatch so I'll do state dot commit set current joke and then I'll pass in J and I know this has actually uh, it's an object called joke so we can do something like this this should commit it into this mutation here and now we want to see if we can actually trigger this action that we just created called set current joke. So to do that, I'm going to go into the app view and I have this empty export default. So I'm going to put a mounted hook here and this time I'm going to uh, actually trigger that action. So I'm going to do this dollar sign store and I'm going to do commit, or excuse me, dispatch because we're dispatching an action. And we know we called it set current joke. So we're gonna go back to our app view, set current joke, and that's it. And one other thing we can do, we actually have this payload here, we're not using it. So I'm gonna delete the payload. Oops, this is actually supposed to be an object. So try it again. Okay, so there's no errors. So now we've committed it, but now let's see, can we grab it inside our home view? So right now that you see, why isn't this working right? We have the mounted because there's a timing issue. This mounted is being set before this app view is, is dispatching. So if you ever run into this problem, what you wanna do is use a computed property. So we're gonna use a computed property and we're gonna call it a joke. So I'm gonna go ahead and just comment this joke out here. And this computed comp property is just gonna return this.store getters dot get current joke uh, this one right here get current joke and then I'm going to go ahead and comment out this mounted right here cool so now you can see here it's actually loading the joke from the server so if we refresh this make sure everything's working no errors cool so we see you have it now we want to click this add joke and have a new joke appear every time you click it so how would we do that so we're gonna go back here. Now all this, all we're doing is is just changing this computer here, but we wanna add do an add joke. So I'm gonna create a new, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the data right here. I'm gonna create new methods and I'm gonna create something called add joke. And now what this is gonna do, it's going to just dispatch this, uh, this dot store dot uh, dispatch. And we're just gonna dispatch that set current joke and so every time you click this button so we're going to add a click event here and just do joke 
So every time you click it, it should do this, we'll call it add joke, add joke. So every time you click it, it'll trigger this method here, which should dispatch that current joke, which should update the store for us. So let's see if it works. We click add joke. Cool, you can see here it's updating. But what about all jokes? So we still have our all jokes, we just have this one joke hard coded in here. So how do we get all jokes working? So this should be easy. So we'll go to our jokes route and we all, all we have is export default here. Um, but we can now retrieve all our jokes. So if we go back to our index file, so we have a way to grab current jokes. We're pushing to our all jokes. We're doing our actions and getters, everything's set up in here. So I'm going to add in here a, um, a computed property and that's going to call, uh, I don't know, jokes. And that's, we're gonna return uh, this, this dot dollar sign store dot getters dot uh, get all jokes. So if we look at the index file, we have current get current jokes. So let's, let's set a new one, get all, let's do get all jokes. And that's just gonna return state dot uh, get uh, all jokes, that should be it. Cool, so now we have something called get all jokes. Now if we go back to our jokes view, we can now, should be able to do a v4 in here. So we have this h4 here, we're gonna do v4 equals joke in jokes. And remember we have to do it, um, we always have to put a key since we're using a v4 here. So I'm gonna do joke index and then I'll do key here equals idx. And now we should have access to this. So we can do here, this will be idx plus one and then instead of here we'll just do joke. So let's see if that worked. So now we have our jokes here, we can add jokes. And if you click all jokes, now they're appearing. Uh, looks like we hard coded in the one there. I'll fix that. Yep, here we go. So now we have all jokes. Now every time you add a joke, what do you call a fish no eye? A, f a fish it has no eye in it. And now you can see here, and now it's listing in our all jokes page. Cool, so we definitely did it, but we can make this a little cleaner. So we're kind of using this.store everywhere, but there's actually Vuex helpers. So let's go back to our app view here. Um, instead of doing set current joke here, let's import map actions from Vuex. And now we can do methods here. And inside this map and methods, we can do app map actions, and then we can put in an array. And this array would be set current joke. And instead of doing this dot store dispatch, we can do this dot set current joke and do it like this. So if we do like that, let's see if it still works. Refreshing it, cool, still works. All right, so we can do that everywhere. We can add these helpers everywhere. So we can go to home view. Um, we're, once again, we're doing actions here. So I'm just gonna go to my app view and copy and paste it and put it in my home view map actions and then inside here we'll have to put in the actions we want so set current joke and then instead of doing this we'll do this dot set current current joke and that that should be it so let's see if our add joke still works cool still works and we can do the same thing with this computer property so instead of map actions uh, we can do map getters, map getters. And in here we do the same thing. We, we do map getters here. We do the three dots in front of it because we're uh, using, we're spreading it, excuse me. And then once again, now this is gonna be a kind of a problem because we have something called get. So if we put in an object here, it's always a method or it's either an object or an array and we can do get current joke but the problem is now this, if we do this return here, we're to returning this store.getters.current joke. So we could do this, um, instead of this store getters, we can do return this.getCurrentJoke. 
like this. And this would work. Uh, so if we go back here, so this is all working here in our home view. We um, add it here. But it probably would make more sense that instead of this joke here being this dot current joke, we wouldn't want to have this method at all. So there's something we can do here. We can change this to an object. Oops. So we change this to an object. If I can do this right. And then in this object, we just you can set the name of it. So I just want to call this joke. And then I can just comment this out. And now if we come up here, refresh it, you can see it's still working. So cool. So now we've gotten made it a little bit simpler. But what about this set current joke? Could we do the same thing here? So instead of um, we have this add joke button here. So what happens if we do this? We change this to an object. Let's see here. This is an object. And then we call this add joke, add joke, like this. And we comment out this. Let's see if it still works. Yep, it's still working as we expected. So we haven't broken anything, which is really cool. And now we don't have to have these extra methods here. Awesome, so the last one would be jokes view. And same thing here. So usually if it's just one, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're doing the uh, same thing here with the getter. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this into our jokes view. And we just need map getters because that's all we have in here. And then instead of this jokes here, we're going to do this map getters. And then we're gonna have an object inside of it. And inside that object, we're gonna call this jokes. And that's gonna be part of get all jokes. And just to fix this, we'll fix it like this. Cool, so let's see if that worked. So refreshing it, add joke, all jokes. Cool, still seems to be working. All right, so you, that is basically it. So we've used Vuex methods, we've used actions, we've used uh, mutations, we use getters, we used all the things you should know for Vuex. If you guys like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button below. And also I have a course on Vue. You, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. If you click on it, I'll let you know next time it's available and you can sign up. So I really appreciate it. If you guys like these videos, here are some other videos you may like. Go ahead and click on them. I really appreciate it. Thanks.